So good afternoon, students, and welcome to online Zoom class for English. Um, today, we will learn from your PW English book. So can you please get your PW English book? No. Today, we will talk about page nine. Page nine. A story. There is a story that we will talk about today. So I will have, uh, we will go through the story and just like in class, the same like we would do in class, uh, but we will do in Zoom. Um, so please take out your PW English book and if you have a pen or pencil. So this is the weather story from PW English. It is on page nine. Uh, thank you for turning on your camera, Sigin. Um, so we will go through, first you can open your book, to page nine, and we will go through it. So today we will do page nine of your PW English book. Uh, the first thing we will do is reading. Um, I will not get you to read it because many of you are, um, I cannot hear you. And so I will read for you. So I will read and you can follow along in your book. So please take out your PW English book. Um, and follow along. You can follow with your finger as I will read it to you. Okay. So this is the story. So I will read to you now. It is a warm, sunny day. The sun is shining. You are walking home. There is a big wind. The wind goes away. You walk home again. It's getting cloudy. There are some clouds in the sky. You hear thunder. It starts to rain. Oh no, you're getting wet. Now you feel cold too. You run home. You go into the kitchen. You make some tea. Wow, warm tea. Now you feel good. So I hope you can all read along with me and you understand it all. Uh, maybe if you are in gifted, you do not understand all the words. So we will go through and just like in class, we will translate to Thai. So in your book, you can write in Thai. Um, Okay, so I have uh, students' cards with all your names and your pictures. Mr. So I will choose students from IEP to translate each sentence. Hi, <laughs> and then you can write the tie into your book. So if you are in gifted, I will not call your name. I will not ask you. And if you, if I do pick your name, please write in the chat in Thai. So students in gifted, or if you are in IEP, you can also write it in your book. Okay, just like we do in class. But instead of saying it, uh, just write it in the chat, write in Thai, in the chat, okay? So the first sentence, it's a warm, sunny day. So I will pick, I don't know. Is this, ah, Hill. So Hill, can you please write in the chat? How do you say it is a warm, sunny day in Thai? You can write to everybody. It does not have to be a direct message. Yo, can you please translate this sentence? 
in two Thai. How do you say it's a warm sunny day? Where is hill? Oh, hill. Ah, man, and one. Yes, that job, that job. Ah, so you can copy. Thank you, hill. So you can copy into your PW English books. And write in Thai. So next, I'll pick uh, the next sentence is the sun is shining. So who? Ah, Tigger. So Tigger, can you please write in the chat in Thai how to say the sun is shining? The sun is shining. Tigger. It's Tigger. The sun is shining. Oh, okay. So Tigger sent to everybody. Uh, I will not read in Thai because I do not speak Thai very well. <laughs> but you can see in the chat that Tigger wrote. Thank you, Tigger. So the next one we can do is you are walking home. Walking ah, and you please write in the chat how to say you are walking home. You are walking home. How to say in Thai? Ah, okay. I don't know if that's prapai, but Saruchon wrote it anyways. Okay, so if you don't know, you can write it in Thai. So next one. There is a big wind. There is a big wind. This one. Oh, Max. Max, can you write in the chat, please? There is a big wind in Thai. Next, 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 next. There is a big wind. Ah, okay, thank you. So Max wrote in the chat, as you can see. The next one, the wind goes away. Who is this one? Ah, Poo Cow. Poo Cow, can you please write in the chat how to say in Thai, the wind goes away. The wind goes away. I don't know if in Thai you will say the same as in English, go away. But you can also say the wind stops. It's the same thing. The wind goes away. So, Pukao, can you please write in the chat? The wind goes away. Where is Pukao? Pukao. Pukau, can you please write in the chat? Is Pukau not here?
Uh, maybe Pukau is not in class. Maybe you can choose somebody else. The wind goes away. How to say oi? I see it saw oi already. So oi. Can you please write in the chat the wind goes away or the wind stops? Oi, are you listening? Oi, can you please write in the chat the wind goes away? Can you please write in Thai? I see you are writing your name. Oh, I will get oi and poo cow. You will not write. Oh, okay. So you wrote already. Okay, next one. Please, students, when I call your name, listen and write in the chat. It's taking too long. Every single one. Takes a long time for you to write. So you walk home again. It's not difficult, I don't think. Blue day. Blue day, can you please write in the chat in Thai? You walk home again. You walk home again. I thought this would go much quicker. Blue day. I know you are here. Ah, thank yeah, you. Okay. okay, so our next one. It is getting cloudy. Is this oh, oh, Jenny. Jenny, can you write in the chat, please? It's getting cloudy. It's starting to be cloudy. It's getting cloudy. Clouds are coming. Jenny, Jenny. Mm, okay. Thank you, Jenny. Next, uh, Som O. So Som O, can you write the next sentence, please, in the chat? The there are some clouds in the sky. There are some clouds in the sky. So how do you write that in Thai? Uh, thank you. So next one. Sun. So the next one is you hear thunder. You hear thunder. How to say that in Thai? San. San, san, san. You hear thunder. Mm, okay. Thank you. Uh, going better now, quicker. Next, it starts to rain. Kachang. Kachang. Can you please write? It starts to rain. It starts to rain. It starts to rain. Mm, okay, thank you. Next is Chopper. Chopper, you have a very easy one. Oh no. I can see if Chopper. Chopper, can you please write in the chat? 
Oh no. Maybe you can figure it out anyways. The shopper is sleeping. That's right, it was me. And the next one, you're getting wet. You're getting wet. Doctor. So doctor, can you please write in the chat? You're getting wet. You're getting wet. I think this should be easy for you. You can do this if you are listening and paying attention. It should be easy for you. Doctor. Doctor. Maybe if I ask you to write and you do not write, I will ask you to do stuff in class when we start on Monday. Or maybe doctor is not listening. So next, C. C, can you please write? You're getting wet. You're getting wet. Can you please write in the chat? You are getting wet. C. Ah, thank you. And next one. Now you feel cold too. Now you feel cold too. Who is this one? Oh, who is this? Ah, Freshy. Freshy. Can you please write? Now you feel cold too. Now you feel cold too. Freshy, freshy. Now you feel cold too. Now you feel cold too. Good. Bua. I think some students are not paying attention or not listening. So next one, Atom. Can you please write? Now you feel cold too. I think Bua helped and did everything. But part of this is I want to make sure that you are listening and paying attention. You are Because your cameras are not on. I told all of you to turn your cameras on. You do not turn your cameras on. Do not answer questions, cannot write in the chat. Okay, maybe this is just taking too long. You will not answer. So uh, you can see Bua Bua translated everything for you. So you can look at her translations and please write in your book. Uh, students that did not answer, Freshy, Dr. Chopper, uh, Oh, no, oh, and Poo Cow. Especially Dr. Chopper and Poo Cow will have something extra for you to do on Monday. Okay, so I will go through because this is taking too long and you can see we're already translated for you. So we will go to the next thing. So next you can uh, put the pictures in order. I think you already have done this. There are nine pictures. So you can write one to nine in all the little circles in the top left hand corner of the pictures. Uh, I hope most of you finished already. So these are the answers. If you have something different, you can check. Uh, one, three, four, five, eight, two, six, seven, and nine. So the next there are four questions in your book. So I'll go through and try to help you with them. So you can see in your book, the four questions. The first one, what did you hear? What did you hear? Maybe I'll show you first. Okay, what did you hear? Why did you get wet? Why did you run home? 
and where did you make tea? So you can see all of these questions have the word did. And you know from sentence structure, if you have the word did in a question, it is a verb to question. It is past simple tense question. So your answer should be in past simple tense. You should use a verb to to answer each question. Okay, so what did you hear? You will change you to I. If you ask somebody a question, then the subject will change to I. And the verb to for here is heard. And you can fill in the blank. What did you hear? The answer is I heard. I will not tell you all the answers. I will help you a little bit with the answers and show you how to write a sentence, but I will not fill in all the blanks for you. Okay, so next one, number two is, why did you get wet? So the first word is because, um, because it, why did you get wet? Because it, and answer with verb two, past simple tense, okay? So number three, there are two ways to answer it. Um, so why did you run home? Um, when you read the story, there are two sentences that happen before you run home. So you can say just either one, but just write one. Don't write both. Or because I wet or because I cold. So you can look at these sentences in the story. And there will be verb one in the story, present simple tense. You must change it to past simple tense. So change it to verb two. And we can go and look. So this is with the word wet. You can see the verb is get or getting. And the other one is here. So you feel cold too. So the verb here is feel. So our next word would be number four. Number four, where did you make tea? So answer I, so you can change make from verb one to verb two and write it in there. I did a T in the, and where did you make the T? Okay. So those are the four questions. I hope you can write all the answers in your book and we'll check. I have a couple of extra questions to write for you to write answers to in your book. They are just short, easy questions, I think. So you can write it in your book at the bottom of the page under I have three questions for you. You can write one, two, three, and they are short questions. I think you can answer. So I will show you. Oh, first, I forgot sentences. There are sentences to write. <laughs> Sorry, so the words in red, there are three words that are in red. So I give you the three words with Thai translation. I think if you are an IEP, you will know already. But if you are in gifted, these are what the three words mean. So you can write sentences with these words, but not yet, uh, because they must be, right? Three sentences using these words, but the first one must be a question. And then the second one must be a positive sentence. And number three must be a negative sentence. So you can write number one as a question. 
Number two, as a positive sentence. And number three, as a negative sentence. You can just use verb one if that is easiest, or verb two, or if you want to use verb three, okay. You can use any verb, but number one must be a question. Number two must be positive sentence. And number three must be a negative sentence. So again, if you are in IEP, I think you can do this. If you are in gifted, I will give you some examples. Um, I will show you my examples. So first one is a question. So number one must be a question. And I underline the words. So does Tigger want to sleep again? Sometimes well, Tigger sleeps. And so maybe he wants to sleep again. So this is a question. Always finish a question with a question mark. Uh, number two. Om Sin girl always wants to start sleeping. So two sleepy people in class sometimes. Um, here is the word again, and this is a positive sentence. It's not a question and does not have no or not in it. And the last one is a negative sentence. So negative will have the word doesn't or didn't or haven't. And on a verb, so Kumpan doesn't want to sleep unless he dreams about diff too. So he only wants to sleep if he can also dream about diff too. Okay, so these are some bye example bye. sentences, to leave now. but you can write your own. It can be in present simple tense, past simple tense, or present perfect tense, present continuous tense, verb ing. Can use any. It must be a question, positive, and negative sentence. Okay. So I think you will be finished soon. And the last part for today, like I said, there are three questions that I just gave to you. I need three extra ones so you can write them right here. One, two, and three. They are short questions, so I think it should be not a lot to write. So you can just fill in the blanks. So how many tenses are there in this story? There are da, 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 different tenses. So verb one, verb two, verb three, verb ing. How many different ones are there? Next, what do you do to make yourself feel good. This is from the story. Look in the story and answer from the story. I am not asking about you and what you, what makes you feel good in the story. What makes you feel good in the story? And the last question, what color is thunder? So if you do not have room in your book, you can write in your notebook. If you have room in your PW English book, you can write in your PW English book. If not, then you can write in your notebook. Okay, so three questions for you. Um, if you are in gifted, these may be uh, difficult questions. So if you are not correct, it's okay. Just try your best. Um, if you are in IEP, uh, I hope you can answer at least one of these questions, maybe two, and maybe even three. So I will check your answers when we get back to school on Monday. So that's all, all the slides I have about the story on page nine. So you have uh, to number each picture. You have to write translations into Thai. Thank you, Bua, for helping. And answer all the questions. All should be, all your questions should have past simple tense verbs. Then you have three sentences, a question, a positive sentence, and a negative sentence. And finally, there are three extra questions.
But if you are in gifted, maybe these are a bit difficult, but hopefully you can do them. So that's all the time for today. And uh, I will see you on Monday. So goodbye and have a good day.